So we say it's Psalm 45, verse 3. Verse 3 says, Gird thy sword upon thy thigh, O most mighty. Hallelujah. O most mighty, with thy glory and thy majesty. So there are three things that are mentioned in Psalm 45, verse 3. Most mighty. I'm sure everybody wants to be mighty. In mighty means powerful. Glory. <laughs> Shining. Majesty. In authority. In power. Everybody wants to be majestic. To be in control. Because if you are majestic, even if it means in business, it means you are the big one. Glory to God. So mighty, glory, and majesty. Those are things that everybody desires. But there is a price to pay. It doesn't just happen. Verse 4 says, And in thy majesty ride prosperously. That's the fourth thing we see here that is enviable. So mighty, glory, majesty, and then riding prosperously. Our God, our God rides prosperously. In other words, whatever God does, prospers. Whatever God does, succeeds. God never fails. God has never failed. God will never fail. So when we say we are children of God, our God is mighty, our God is glorious, our God is majestic, our God rides prosperously. He does not fail. He succeeds. Everything that God does, he succeeds. Everything that God does, he prospers. Amen? So as children of God, we need to desire to be like our Father. It's a shame to see a son or daughter of a highly successful man or highly successful woman and then the child doesn't care about success. The child lives anyhow. The child just say, I will inherit what my parents will give me. We have talked about it before. Such a child no matter what they get from the parents, it's not going to help them because they are going to squander it. They are like a prodigal son. Praise the name of Jesus. But that's not where I'm going. So I'm saying, if your father is successful or your mother is successful, then it should follow naturally that you too must be successful. If your father is mighty, Shouldn't it follow naturally that you also should be mighty? Or at least you should desire to be mighty. And to know how did my parent become mighty? If your parent is glorious, is ever shining, what about you as the child? If your parent is majestic, controlling, ruling, taking charge, what about you as the child? If your parent is riding prosperously, why wouldn't you as the child do the same? The same applies to our father in heaven. He's mighty, he's glorious, he's majestic, he rides prosperously. And you as a child of God, you must desire the same. But you need to understand how does God do this. Verse 4 of Psalm 45 says, And in thy majesty ride prosperously because... Ah, yeah, I like that. Hallelujah. And in thy majesty... Please don't sleep. It's better to stand up. Wash your, your, your face. It's very important what I'm talking about here. And in thy majesty, ride prosperously because, there is a because. Things don't just happen. There is what to do. Because of truth. <laughs> the Bible says, the truth shall set you free. The truth 
shall set you free. They that worship God must worship him in truth and in spirit. So you want to be mighty? You want to be glorious? You want to be majestic? You want to ride prosperously? You need the truth. And the truth is the word of God. The will of God. So number one qualification, number one thing that you need for you to have all those four that we have talked about is truth. Number two is meekness meekness the bible says and now the man moses was the meekest man on earth <laughs> he had a humble spirit he was willing to be corrected we are in a generation that does not want to be corrected have you ever seen that look around you everybody knows what they are doing in those olden days even when people didn't have a bible Parents and grandparents and the parents from next door would groom a child that is not theirs. You are found misbehaving. You will be beaten by a woman next door, not your mother. By the time you get to your home and you tell your mother what has happened, your mother will beat you for the second time. Are you with me? But today you can't try it. Everybody has rights. I don't know where we got these rights. Everybody behaves the way they like. We have become liberals. Anybody can do anything. But the Bible tells us here, if you want to truly be mighty, to be glorious, to be majestic, to ride prosperously, you need number one, truth. Number two, you need meekness. Meekness. The Bible says in the last days, people shall be full of what? Pride and arrogance. May the Lord grant us grace. And the third thing is righteousness. 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 Are you right in the eyes of God? You might be right in your own eyes. You might be right in the eyes of your friends. But are you right in the eyes of God? You might be right in the eyes of your colleagues or your bosses or your teachers. But are you right in the eyes of God? When God looks at you, does he smile? Hallelujah. Amen. Glory to the living God. And the Bible says, and thy right hand shall teach thee terrible things. We need God to teach us terrible things. That's the only way we can be in charge of this earth. The reason why many people who say they worship God are struggling spiritually, physically, financially, in anything they touch is because they want to be mighty. They want to be glorious. They want to be majestic. They want to ride prosperously, but they don't want the truth. They don't want meekness. They don't want righteousness. And they don't want to be taught and led by God. May the Lord grant us grace. May the Lord grant us wisdom. May the Lord grant us understanding. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Let's go ahead and begin to pray right now. Lord, grant me grace. Grant me grace to understand your